Hey now, long haired Luke from the Short Term Shop. We are the world's premier short term rental acquisition company. And today I'm going to teach you how to use the enemy method to determine how much money a short term rental can make, what you're going to charge for a housekeeper fee, what's your minimum night stay going to be, how many guests do I want to allow in this property. Everything can be found out using the enemy method. So there are four rules to the enemy method. Number one, the enemy must be self-managing their property. Number two, they must be close to your property. In my markets, within a half a mile is ideal. Number three, they need to have a lot of reviews, over 100. And 4.8 stars is really what I'm looking for. And of course, they need a similar property. Same square footage, same number of bedrooms, about the same sleeping capacity, etc. So... Let's dive into the enemy method. And today we're going to actually enemy method at one of my properties that I already own. I, I, uh, I have over 2,000 reviews personally on Airbnb and Verbo for properties that I actually own. Now, this can be used on property managers' websites as well. But today, for today's uh, sake of argument, we are going to uh, do it on Airbnb.com. So I'm going to log in uh, or a search as if, I, as if I'm a guest. So not logging in as a host, right? I'd have to click this to go to my dashboard. I'm going to do this like I'm going to sleep in somebody's property. And let's say I found a house on uh, realtor.com that I like or zillow.com. I find where it is. I go to the map on Airbnb. I zoom in to where that property is. Maybe it's even on there already if you're in a, a heavy vacation market. Uh, and then you basically just study the competition. That's the whole point. So I'm zooming in on a property I already own. And I have done this a billion times. So this is this period, this this uh, space right here is probably about a half a mile, maybe one mile total. And I'm pretty sure I own that one. Yes, I do. So I've got 4.91 stars and 270 reviews on Airbnb on this particular property alone. And uh, I'm rocking it, right? So I would be an excellent enemy for these guys, for instance. But I need to find an enemy for my property and make sure that I'm doing everything proper. So let's check it out here. All right, this guy's got 4.8, 239 reviews. Let's see what he's got going. So again, we do want to make sure he's self-managing. If you're using the Airbnb method or the Verbo method, you don't want a property manager. So you click, you simply click on their profile and see how many properties they have. If they've got 37 properties, 272 properties, it's probably a property manager. This guy is clearly doing it himself. Doing it yourself these guys are going to make more money than the property managers. They're, they're, going to, they're going to generally rock it a lot harder. So another thing I look for, guys, which I didn't mention earlier, is number of pictures and quality of pictures. I like to see 50 photos. Some people will tell you 25 is totally cool. I like 50, and they need to be high quality. This guy's got grainy. Uh, this is his cover photo, and it looks like it may or may not be a mountain. Not even sure what's going on here. So photos, he's definitely lacking in that department. But I'm not going to cross him off the list because clearly he's crushing it. Keep in mind, everybody, this number is BS. This is clickbait. Uh, that is a number that he may have charged two years ago for one night. And they, Airbnb always puts the lowest number that it's ever been charged for, you know, to get people to click on a property. So let's, let's check out his calendar and see if we can figure out how much money he's making. We are right now in the middle of January 2021. So... Uh, this is a worldwide statistic. Most Airbnbs are booked 30 days or, or less from today. Most trips on Airbnb are booked 30 days or less from today. I do find in my market, this particular property, two bedrooms, because number of bedrooms will change that. Bigger, bigger property will book a little further in advance. Uh, this guy should be about six weeks out. And you can see already he's January, February, March. So that's three months already. April, booked. May, booked. This guy's too booked. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to disqualify him as an enemy. He's probably, the reason he's so booked, he's not charging enough money. So I don't think he's really quite worth looking at right now. He's got a, a few tweaks to do, although his customer service is clearly rocking because his, his ratings are great. Now, keeping in mind that generally, the more they pay, the less they complain. So how he's getting folks that aren't complaining, I'm not so sure about that. But Let's look further into another enemy here. What do we have? Let's check it out. So this guy's only got 84. That's why I'm passing over him. Not enough reviews, not enough reviews, not enough reviews. We, sometimes you might have to zoom out a little. Uh, also, okay, this guy'd be a, an enemy, but he's only got one bedroom, so that's not going to work. There's two bed, two and a half bath. We might need to zoom out just a little bit to get a few more enemies. You see? Boom. Oh, what's this? Not one bedroom, not enough. 
Okay, here we go. Two bed, two bath. This is the same size as my house. He's got 192, 120 uh, reviews. This guy looks like an enemy. Okay, he's got good pictures. See how many? 52 pictures. All right, I like this guy. High quality, professional photos. Again, this is this number's BS. You got to click it like you're going to book it. Click it like you're going to book it, right? So this guy, look, it's about six weeks out. Remember what I said? This guy's rocking. So then we check what he's charging. 200 bucks a night in March. That's great. So then we come over here. April, what are these dates booking for? He's got 135. That March must have been a holiday, I'm guessing, right? So May, what do we got here? 89, 189 in uh, end of May. So you can just go through his, his calendar, keeping in mind that these prices will change the closer the dates get. And if they have not booked already, they, the prices will likely come down if this guy's doing his job. And I think he is, or lady. Um, so, you know, you study these numbers, you maybe you make a spreadsheet, you figure out what you think his average nightly rate is going to be this particular property, just because I have it memorized at this point. It's probably going to book about 310 nights a year. Uh, you can you can also check AirDNA, guys. That's a fantastic uh, uh, resource for numbers, but it is a data scrape. It's not going to dig deep into one particular area or property, which is why the enemy method is so invaluable. So this particular property, 310 uh, nights per year. And I think, you know, we, we looked at some numbers here. Again, I'm just uh, penciling on the back of a napkin right now. I think he's probably about 180 or so, 170 uh, average night times 310 nights. So he's, he's, he's booking about 50 grand. That's without housekeeper. That is not the gross number. That's just nightly rent. So I think he's probably going to clear probably 55, 60 grand on this little two bedroom. Uh, this is an excellent market to be in obviously, but okay, guys, here's another, Oh, check it out. You can find out what he's charging for his cleaning fee. What you're charging, the cleaning fee to the guest is generally different than what you, your housekeeper's charging you. It's generally pretty common to charge a little extra. Now, I also find it's pretty cool to charge right at or a little higher than your enemy for your cleaning fee because people, when it comes to cleanliness, uh, cleanliness, like to get what they paid for. This guy's also charging an occupancy tax. Um, and that's probably going to the city and the county in this particular jurisdiction. So again, got to know your market. Got to know your market. How do you get to know your market? You enemy method all the time. All right, guys, check this out. What's this? I can send this guy a message. Hey, dude, I see you're rocking it. Maybe you check his profile, see he's from Ohio or something. Hey, I'm originally from uh, Nebraska. Uh, I got a property right down the street from your uh, uh, Smoky Mountain Log Cabin in Sevier County. Uh, and I was wondering if you'd give me any pointers. You're striking up a conversation. You're probably going to have to send 50, this message, 50 different hosts to get one reply. But the long, the, the long game here is to get a housekeeper's phone number. Because you know that housekeeper is rocking it. This guy's got great reviews and a, a lot of them. So the housekeeper's keeping that place clean and, and doing her job, his job. So excellent resource for a housekeeper. Also, when you call that housekeeper and you say, hey, I own 123 Main Street. And she says, oh, no kidding. I'm already cleaning 126 Main Street. No problem. I'll take you on. You know, so... Enemy method is completely invaluable for many, uh, many different uh, factors within short-term rental. Most importantly, of course, learning how much you're going to make on the property. But you can come visit us anytime you want at the shorttermshop.com. We would love to help you out. And I appreciate your time. And I'll see you in the future.